Oh, oh, are these all the characters? What the, what the hell is this? Are these all the new characters? Oh, I haven't even seen these new characters. What the hell? Okay, so number one, I just want to look through this. I have not seen any of this stuff. I, I, I wasn't around for the first stream, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's on here. I don't know what the characters are. I think I saw Zyox talking about the one guy because he had like green stuff and he was in a tree. Milana, Milani, Milani. Okay. She looks uh, like kind of like bunny ears. Kind of cool. Kachina. She looks like she would be like a wolf tribe looking thing. Okay. It feels like their faces and their art style looks more in depth or something than normal Genshin characters. Like if I if I think about like D Luke, like I don't know how they're going to look in game, but like he just looks like so plain kind of thing. Right. I don't know. They look they look okay. Just like even just like the actual little colors. I mean, like really, really cool colors overall. What is this? A what is this a joke? What is this? <laughs> what is this little pixel art guy? Okay. Um, hey, they all got these like little Pokemon things. Mommy, they're all holding these balls. Is it actually like a Pokemon patch? We'll look at the video in a second. Just hold on. I'm just looking at the characters I, that they've posted. One second. I feel like there was a leak of this character way at the beginning of the game. Like when, when Genshin first came out, people saw this. This, this person. Uh, I like the, it, it kind of reminds me of like Nar from uh, League of Legends. All right, she's like a little hunter. She's got like a little, little musket hat, musketeer hat. Cool, uh, cool scarf and everything, cool colors. And then we've got Mama. That guy looks pretty cool. He looks like he's, he should be from uh, almost like solo leveling or something. Very different. Okay, so here we go. This is the trailer you guys have all been telling me to watch. I'm going to be pausing it. Are you ready? Let's go. Is that Sumeru? That's Sumeru, right? <laughs> Attention, please. Kachina will now release the ball to promote the upcoming tournament. Okay. Tournament uh, mode. Can I get a photo to remember it? Hey, that's too close. Huh? Oh, uh, great. <laughs> and... So this is not what the game is gonna look like. I wonder if they'll, if they'll show, um, gameplay. I like the tech pixel arts. What the heck is that? Uh-huh. Colorful? I just want to check something. I just want to check something really quickly. Um, in the lore. Oh, she's Geo, isn't she? Okay. Skip. This is that time of year again. The tournament. The Pokemon League. If that's what Natlin looks like, cool. I thought Natlin was going to be volcanoes and lava. I, I, I don't know why, but I, that was what I envisioned. I thought it was going to be a desolate, skull and bone ridden uh, mountain range with lava. That's what I'm, I've been picturing. This is not what I expected at all, but okay. The tournament will soon begin. Also, is Natlin like futuristic and like rich? Like I thought, I don't know why. I just, I pictured Natlin was going to be like a, like a really desolate, Kind of like tribal, like you saw the one person with the skull. In my mind, I always thought they're going to be super, super desolate. Like they're going to be wearing uh, prehistoric kind of outfits and stuff. You know what I mean? And uh, and yeah, the region of war, volcanoes, tribal, dinosaur riding, caveman. This seems odd. Very odd. Like th she looks like she's going to live in like downtown Toronto or, or no, not Toronto. <laughs> Like New York, and she's like a fashion icon. I don't know. It's just very odd. But my okay. dear friends, 
Take your position. Very odd. Embrace your competitive spirit and give your all. This battle is for winners only. The champion will take all. Stop. Everyone stop. I just realized something. And maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I'm right. Uh, remember in HSR when they they built a whole Pokemon system, right? And and you could get all those all the all the all the little characters, and they were they're your like little Pokemons. Uh, is that essentially what they're going to be doing here? Do you think that maybe they used that and they built that entire system for this? I'd be very curious to see because like they had that whole game mode. They had that whole game mode that they built, and it was a pretty in depth event. Like. They could apl apply a lot of those systems for this. I'll be very curious to see how that plays out. And again, sorry, I have to touch on this. I have to touch on this because I, 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 I know I always critique Genshin. If this is a main mechanic of Genshin Impact, are they further invalidating all of my characters and gear that I already kind of don't care about? Like, are they invalidating it further as one of the main features of this DLC? Because, like, they're supposed to get me hyped up and excited. And, um, it's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be different, but I'm curious, uh... Is the DLC just a big mini-game? You know what I mean? Are you brave enough to compete? Again, is this Capitano? The lore, and I'm not even a big lore guy, but wasn't the lore kind of like Capitano is here and he's been fighting a bunch, or what? whoever this guy is, there's some lore about someone was in Natlan, Natlan and was like fighting in like these, these crazy wars. Has he been playing Pokemon the whole time? Like he just, I, I don't know why. I feel like this is not anywhere near the, the, what I expected this all to be. And maybe this is just like a little teaser and it's like, this is just scratching the surface, but the, the image that I've had in my head for four years is getting flipped on its end. And I'm not sure in a good way. But we'll see. Again. The Master Ball. Even the tiniest of sparks will not go unnoticed. Did you catch everything? Ah, uh, I. What her eyes see ought to be our fate. But now, close your eyes and feel. For with our blood, oh, we will no. forge our true fate. Time to burn again. Okay, uh, I want to talk about this. So, <laughs> again, I feel like in my mind, it was going to be like dino riding, volcano, like tribal, all these different things. And if I'm thinking about that, and I'm listening to what she's saying, and it's like, It is time to burn again! The tournament is happening! All these tribes are coming together to battle and fight to get this fuck- this fire to power up their tribe and take control- Like, I feel like that story would be so cool. All these different tribes, people coming from Mondstadt to like, secure the flame for their tribe, uh, Sumeru, all these different things, you know what I'm saying? Almost, yeah, kind of like the Olympics, yeah. Or like a battle royale of, of, of gladiators, like, for me, bro, that would be so sick. The Pokemon battle thing, sure, I, I'm sure it's fine, but like, I don't know, I don't know, the, 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 the vibe, I feel like it'd be so different, and, and maybe I just like that type of stuff more. I like, like, the the gladiator uh, battling through, fighting on the different people, and then all of a sudden, Capitano comes up and is like, you'll need to take me on if you want to progress! And it's like, oh, shit, boss fight. I don't know. I don't know! Um, I can't say that I'm not intrigued. I can't say that I'm not curious what'll happen. However, I have to say, Fontaine uh, was different. Fontaine was a, a, a gonna be a different game. 
new world, new area, new stuff to do. And they added swimming. They made swimming, well, I don't know, 70, 80% of the exploration and made our characters and their kits and their artifacts and their weapons on all of that stuff. Uh, it was, it was, uh, this was the worst patch for me in the game. It was so boring to me. 95% of the time. And so I hope that they don't move away from the stuff that I enjoy in the attempt or the the their their hopes of just diversification being different. I want to fight stuff. I want to use my characters. So with with Natlin, I'm I'm intrigued, but I'm kind of worried that like, uh oh, are they gonna do it again? Are they gonna are they gonna make it a new mini game? And and I don't have the most faith in them. But maybe I'll be surprised. And maybe, maybe the, the Pokemon thing is just like exploration. Like who knows who uh, I've got no idea. I didn't even watch the last live stream, but my first impressions are I'm a little spooked. I'm a little scared. I hope that it's good. I guess we'll see. And that's, that's pretty much it. Those are my, those are my final thoughts. Hopefully we get more uh, information soon. Uh, there's another teaser trailer for Natlin explores for exploration. Okay. So we didn't see this one. Maybe this changes everything. I love the colors already. Mm, I really like the 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 aesthetic. She's got a little a little mount. Is that a little sneak peek of the map? Okay. Oh, so these are their in-game models. These look really, like, pretty good. I feel like they've got, like, a little bit more, uh, like, detail to them or something. I feel like this looks way better than uh, some of the old stuff. Like, even just their hair. What the? I feel like they're, <laughs> they're trying to do, like, homage to Pokemon type face off. They're definitely hinting at it and they're kind of showing off that stuff. But again, it could just be movement stuff and like in the story. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to think here. I mean, it looks it looks good. Like the, like visually it looks good. That dep depend how much this this actually you know matters. There's there's more stuff. There's another teaser. Oh, my God. All right. Let me see oh, this one. All right. Let's watch this one as well, then. Sandshrew. Good music. Oh, you could turn into a little Pokemon. There's the lava I was hoping for. I mean, again, a lot of it is traversal, puzzle solving type stuff. Maybe, maybe it's kind of like the, what is it called? Like RK or in Fontaine, there's like the different energy. There's like the Numa and the Skodomba. I don't remember. But anyways, maybe you're not actually fighting them. It's just like exploration stuff, which is fine, honestly. I mean, I'll tell you what, I would rather do this stuff than slowly climb a mountain for the 50th time. Like the exploration is the exploration. Honestly, the open world feels like you're auto battling. Like everything is so easy, like who cares? So you might as well make the exploration fun. So, I mean, I don't, I don't mind that. I think that's kind of cool. I'd probably prefer this. It's only in Natlin, though. Yeah, that's to be expected. 
I don't know, man. I guess we'll see. I mean, it visually looks really cool. And, uh, you know, if it's just the exploration stuff, that's, that's one thing, but I don't want to get hurt again. <laughs> I don't want to get hurt again. I don't want to get burnt again. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys. Have a good one. Good luck. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay safe. Uh, uh, <laughs>